man it has been a it's been a long day long long day but let me let me let me put you guys on some game okay nothing in this world should ever stop you from chasing the bag chasing the bread chasing your dreams whatever the hell it is that you want to do nothing in this world should ever stop you i don't care what gets thrown at you it may be the worst thing in the entire world don't stop chasing the dream don't stop chasing the bag never stop chasing the bread let's get this bread that's that's what this is let's get this bread it's motivation it's telling yourself that you can chase that dream regardless of what people think regardless of what people say regardless of what gets thrown at you in life that's let's get this bread I had to come pick up some parts first thing this morning at the Chevy dealership around the corner from the shop so I got a couple minutes I'm gonna cruise the lot see what they got going on look at this little curl back here how y'all feel about the beard that's coming in it's to be honest it's really starting to annoy me I'm really getting annoyed by this somewhat of a beard that I got going on it just I feel it on my face all the time and it's so annoying and um, I'm, I'm going to get it trimmed this week because I, I look like a hobo right now, but I don't know how I feel about it. There is one truck that I did want to that I did want you guys to see, so I'm going to run over here real quick so I can show you guys. The Chevy dealership over here has a bunch of these like pre-built GMCs already, and to be honest, I think they have GMCs over here because the GMC across the street is probably going out of business, is what it looks like. But they've got a lot of these GMCs. They got one here, they got a Chevy right down there, and then there's another one back behind me that looks just like this one so i wasn't going to show it to you but we i mean we build a lot of these at the shop and i just i mean if you're going to build a truck don't buy it from a dealership i just i genuinely believe that and that's no hate to the dealerships but they put these off-brand generic wheels on there they got toyo rts which is really cool got what is it, it looks like a pro comp lift one of those other ones has a rough country so that's not too bad but those those fender flares on them are just rough man I don't know how they get away with this. And you know the dealerships, look at that, oh no. Oh no. Y'all can't see it from here, but the trim job on the back fender of that truck on the front, oh no. Oh no, nope, okay, all right, <laughs> time to go. People don't have like 30 by 12, people are like chilling. Yeah, it's 375. This is the I get so many comments all the time, like, when are you gonna put new wheels on it, new anything? Jake's funny. Let's go, come on. Be like 40 years old, right on the same setup. Maybe maybe that's just it. Maybe I need to stick with the same setup forever. Maybe that's, maybe that's my thing, you know? My truck's not even back here. Why am I walking up here with you? My truck's not back here. Look at this one. Look at this one. You wanna ride me around in my truck? That sounded really, Really bad. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh yeah. Got an alarm on there. Oh, I don't think I've ever ridden in this truck. Oh my God. There's no armrest there. I hope I got that. Okay. How many times do people go to like put their arm down and you just? Oh. It happens to get a bit. I don't even use one of mine. My truck's in the corner back there. I bet. Look at my little chain shining. Beard on fleek. Killing it. Don't kill me with your base today, okay? Nah. Oh, look, you got one of these things. Yeah. I bought my, uh, kind of like six of those. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't watch my videos, so I can, I can say that. Oh, my. <laughs> Once you ever find them out, it's going to be mad. Hold on. Get the, ooh. Ooh, riding through, ooh, the reflection. Yeah. I gotta run to some of that but after I order all this stuff and buy brakes. Ooh, fresh kicks? Those are kinda cool. Yeah, they, they used to smell good, but oh, now Oh look, he's got his truck up here. Yes, sir. <laughs> what 
what kind of kinky shit goes on in here with these handcuffs? Everything under the moon. I'm so I'm so scared now. <laughs> it's, I, all right, it's all right. I bleached the seats. We're good. Oh my god, <laughs> bleach the seats. Bleach the seats. I get bleach on my t-shirt. <laughs> Hold on, before I forget though, y'all go y'all go follow my guy. Oh, that snowman. Has it always been that snowman? Or did? What was it? Whoa, it's snowman? I kind of like whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> We're going to Chick-fil-A. Let's go. I got to tell you, I love filming videos for you guys. I have such a good time filming videos. I literally, that's, I, I feel like I was talking with Merck of NSB the other day, and I feel like a lot of you guys don't even follow me for the truck anymore. I mean, you guys like my truck. And that's kind of why I was joking when I walked out, you know, I'm gonna have the same setup for the next 40 years because I never do anything to my truck anymore. But I really just film videos because I like to have a good time and, you know, hang out with cool people. And, you know, I feel like a lot of you don't even follow me for the truck, you follow me for the content. You know, you follow me because of the, the energy and the vibe at this point. So, Brandon, if you're watching this, it's all about the vibe. Acquired. Just in time for Daytona. Got like a 17 or 18 Silverado back here. Nine inch FTS kit. 26 inch replicas. 37 inch Gladiator. Not squatted. It's gonna look good. I'm excited. It's already got some Toyos and some fuels on it. We'll see all that's going. Getting taken off the truck. Yeah, nine inch FTS and some replicas. We're gonna get started on this one today. This one should be done today, hopefully, so I can finish up this video for you guys. We'll see how it goes. I was eating during that whole little sequence, but we got a nine inch lift kit going on this truck. Some 37 inch Gladiators. And then they brought the uh, brought the replicas, throwing some reps on it. And we finished up this AT4 yesterday as well. This one turned out pretty good. Ridge grabs in the fuels, clean. That big motherfucker. This is what we're gonna do. I'm going on Instagram. Listen. I'm going on Instagram. I'm going to MTV. Message. How many likes for us to get a TV show at our shop? Question mark. We have plenty of funny people here. MTV. How many likes? We need a show. Shit out of luck. Got him. See, I'm, I'm not going either. So, some of us got to stay behind and shit on the rest of them that aren't going to Daytona. You know what I mean? Some of us got to stay behind. This thing's clean as hell. I've always been a huge fan of the uh, the all like chrome front ends on these trucks. You know, I, I think I think it's always been clean. I had a uh, a 2000 extended cab. It was the round body though when I was in high school. And I should have never got rid of it. I should have kept it and built this instead of building that silver truck. But that shit's clean as hell. I love the, the hardcore wheels too. I'm 30, I'm 37s are tucking. Look at that. Sheesh. Love it. I could barely get my hand in there. See, when I squat mine, that's about how close it is in the back on mine. And I've only got 35s. I might move it up a little bit. What, uh, the back? Yeah, it's got to drop. 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 
I mean, if you're if you're driving up and down 75 every day, I, yeah, maybe. But shit looks good though. You got Instagram on the back. Y'all go show some love. Stop playing around. Show some love. Oh, we got the clean ass speakers in the back too. Just find the trash. <laughs> hey, I got oh, I got all kinds of shit in the back of my truck. See, you see, if you if you expose yourself, they can't say nothing about you. You know what I mean? Show some love. What are you doing? Is it recording? I'm recording. Just about got that FTS kit finished up. I'm kind of excited to see the 26-inch uh, snowflakes and the Venoms on it. I think that's going to look really, really good. Everything is finished up. Kit is on. Just needs to uh, have the wheel lights put on first thing in the morning. Get it aligned. Get it out the door. We don't get to do a lot of these body styles. We do a lot of the 20, the 19 to 21s now. So I'm really excited to have a 14 to 18 back in the shop. And I think that the chrome snowflakes are going to look really good, especially with the wheel lights. I think that's going to be cool as hell. Uh, actually, it might be rock lights. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's wheel lights. That's, that's what I'm going to assume. But those chrome sixes, it's going to be clean as hell on that one. I'm excited for that. Yes, sir. Boy, I turned around and saw them lights. I ain't been so scared in my entire life. Like, what the hell? This is literally, this is right where I got pulled over last time, too. Right right up here is where I had to pull into the gas station when I got pulled over. Man, these cops over here are fucking dumb, man. Leave people alone. The fuck? Shit's annoying. I still get comments every now and then asking if I got rid of the 5% windshield tent, and I, uh absolutely did not it's probably like i think it's almost nine i think it's nine ish like nine eight forty five nine o'clock that's how much sun we got out there you can you know see a little plane or actually i think it's a drone i don't know what the hell that is but you can see the five percent tent definitely definitely still there and i gotta tell you the five percent tent really i never really have an issue with it to be honest until it starts raining and it's been raining every day around here like clockwork at about five o'clock every day which is fine because it's still light outside but when it's dark like this and it's raining the tent kind of gets a little sketchy <laughs> but no the five percent windshield, windshield tent will be and will always be a part of this truck from here on out fts kit on the ground waiting on alignment 26 inch snowflakes on those venoms i know i'd said gladiator at the beginning of the video Got Venom's chrome spike lug nuts. I think it turned out really clean. White and chrome. I think that 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 it's a good look together. Not crazy, not crazy wide. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. I'm a big fan of it. I think it turned out pretty good. A little bit of squat to it, just a little bit. It's a clean look. FTS kit, wheel lights, in and out. This truck had already been cut previously by a uh, previous shop, previous owner or something. So there wasn't much, we didn't have to do any trimming to it, but it should be a pretty nice clean daily driver. Put some nice dual exhaust on the back and I'd ride out with it. Easy install, easy build.